Hi, we are down to the last problem for the semester. Yay! It's problem 10.7. So we're going to be calculating ROI margin and turnover for two different divisions across two different years. And then that way we can do some comparisons. How did we do from year to year? Did we do better? Did we do worse across the two years? How did we do across the two divisions? Is one more profitable than the other? You know, what, what do we want to do, right? So, so it's uh, giving us some information. All right, um, numbers by themselves are just not that useful. So we've got some information. We've got sales, operating income, and average um, operating assets for both of these divisions for year one and year two. So in real life, you'd have to pull this off financial statements. You know, you'd have to pick those out. But, um, you know, it's easy. We'll, they, we'll just give them to you. I know you could... You know, I know, I'm know. i sure that you would have no problem looking at an income statement and looking at the top line to find sales. So that's just given to you. Um, so let's just start our calculations. If you look at your book, I'll just do the calculations here. I won't bring the book in and out. All right. So for furniture, we're going to do furniture division first. So we'll just do ROI, margin, and turnover in year one and year two. So for year one, let's do our... Um, ROI first, so that's our um, operating income, right, divided by our average operating assets, right, so it's our return on our, on our investment. So for year one, operating income was 1.4 million, and we're going to divide that by those assets, 10 million. And so our ROI for furniture division in year one is 0.14 or 14 percent, of course, right? So 14 percent. We like that's fantastic. All right, in year two, in year two, our sales went up a little to 1 million 500,000, and we still had the exact same assets 10 million. All right, so now we're getting 0.15 or 15%, so we've improved our ROI, right, for over the year because we didn't increase our assets. So if assets had changed a little bit, um, that would be a good way to compare year to year because it's hard to tell, well, we, yeah, we increased um, operating income, but we also increased our assets, so do we have a better or worse return? So when you use this method, it's very helpful, and, it, and it's giving you a lot of information, especially when you compare it across two years. All right, so so you see what I mean about one number not being useful. If I just told you this company made one point four million dollars, well, is that a lot? Is that a little? I don't know. If they had a billion dollars in assets, that would not be very good, right? So, but they had ten million in assets, so that's a pretty good return. So so I really like looking at ratios. They give you a lot more information than just one number. Just one number by itself doesn't tell me much. If I gave you, say, they have 10 million in assets, oh, that's a good sized company. Yeah, but what are they doing with those assets? Well, in this case, they're making 1.4 million, and that's a return of 14%, which is good. All right, so um, let's look on to the, the next. We'll look at our margin, uh, which is our sales. Um, uh, divided, I'm sorry, our operating income divided by our sales. It's hard to remember these things. I have to think about it a couple times. So, so that's telling us out of what we sell, right, how is our income doing? Right, are we, are we turning those sales into actual profits? All right, so for furniture division year one, um, we know we had that 1.4 million in uh, sales, that hasn't changed. Now we're going to divide it, I mean in operating income. The 1.4 million is operating income. The sales is 35 million. Right, 35 million. All right, so 1.4 million, uh, divided by 35 million is 4 percent, right, uh, or point, point zero 0.04, 
right? 0 0.04. Um, so that's telling me that for every dollar of sales, I turn four cents of it into profit, or however you want to think about it. Um, but that's not a bad margin, but obviously bigger would be better in this case. But that's our margin, 4%. So out of all those sales, the ex once we take out all the expenses, cost of goods sold and all that, then we're going to have 1.4 million in profit. So that's a 4% margin. And let's look at year two. Uh, we had that, we, we know that we had a million five in operating income and we had 37.5 and that too is equal to 0 0.04 or 4%. So our margin has not changed. Um, so, you know, uh, I guess I'm okay with that. I certainly am glad it didn't go down. Um, but, you know, we're not being any more efficient about our expenses, I guess is what I would say. We, we, uh, we're doing okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. All right. So finally, turnover, right? How do we turn over our assets relative to our sales? All right, so ATO, so you'll sometimes hear this called ATO. Um, so we take our sales for year one, 35,000, 30, I'm sorry, 35 million, and uh, our assets of 10 million, and that is equal to 3.5. All right. And so 3.5, we turn over our assets 3.5 times, so that's pretty great. All right. And of course, it depends on the industry. I mean, I, I say that's great. It's, and on average, I would be pleased with that. But suppose I was in an industry where ATO was, um, you know, five, right? I might not be happy with that. All right. So year two. We got our thirty-seven five hundred thousand, thirty-seven million five hundred thousand divided by our same ten million, and we're turning over a little better, right? Three point seven five. All right. So that's it for furniture division. So just furniture division on its own, as I look comparing it from year to year, um, I'd say they're doing a little better. Um, our margin is the same but our return on investment is a little higher, our, our, our asset turnover is a little higher. So those are both good indicators. You know, we're not going the wrong direction at all. We're definitely headed in the right direction. And this is actually a very good return, so I'm, I'm happy. All right, so watch the next video, and we'll check out the housewares division.